All right, this is it. Last chapter, chapter 12. Y'all made it. This is now the musical. All right, guess what? I bet you didn't know that the musical is actually a form of theater performance that originated in the United States. So ballet, operas, even even acting, you know, uh, drama, all of those all of those originated in in Europe or well, yeah, in terms of ballet and all that. But musicals are unique to the United States. I thought that was pretty cool. So musicals again are what? Unique to the United States. Now there's a, a few different types of musicals that we're going to talk about just uh, very quickly. And this it they can you can get fine-tuned and get even more specific, but in terms of larger categories, uh, it there's book musicals, dance musicals, and operatic musicals, some more. And the book musicals are the ones that it's a musical based on a uh, based on a on a on a book that's something that's already that's already established as a book. So something like Cinderella, which is a a book that gets turned into a musical, that's considered a mu book musical. A dance musical, which is musicals that focus on the dancing, it's pretty much all about uh, all about the dancing. Those would be that's what that's what's considered a, a, a dance musical. I'm trying to think of some examples, something like uh, West Side Story, older type dance musical. And then the operatic musicals, those are the those are the musicals that are very almost well yeah it's almost like an opera obviously but a, a smaller scale a more popular version of that i don't know if you guys remember seeing beyonce did a, a while ago a version of carmen and so that that operatic style of music would be the the operatic musical Here are some other types. Vaudevilles are kind of fun. I think there was a movie that just came out. Who's that? Christina Aguilera that just did a vaudeville movie. Uh, burlesque. Those are the ones that are dancing girls, and they tend to be. It's, it tends to be a more sexual in nature. So they're not they're not necessarily naked, but it's just a little bit more risque. Um, rock musicals are pretty popular nowadays. The the band Green Day, if you've ever heard of them, they have a broad they have a musical on Broadway, and they their set design actually won a Tony Award, which is actually the Tony Award is the the the, the big award for theater. All right. So in terms of the musical, there breaks it breaks down into into these three areas, well, two areas, and then one of those areas is broken down into two parts. There's the music part, and then there's the book. The book deals with the story, the words that are actually spoken, and then the music part deals with the 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 songs, and the songs have two two parts. The composer, the person in charge of the musical notes, and then the lyricist, the person in charge of the words that go with the music, as opposed to the librettist, which is the person that's just that's dealing with the words in terms of the spoken parts. Uh, types of musical numbers. These are the the areas that when 
when you're listening to listening to a musical it breaks down into these different areas you can read that some more vocabulary for you or you know what's a good showstopper so I know most of you have probably seen our dream girls right and so can you guess what part would be the showstopper all right let me see if I whoever puts that whoever puts a post or puts a note on on the on my on the YouTube channel first we see if we can get them a, a little a little extra maybe an extra credit point or something <laughs> all right so in dream girls what would you imagine the showstopper to be put that in a put that in a post on the on the YouTube site or in the blog all right so a little bit of history on operas and comic operas uh, you guys can read that if you want to go more in depth there's certainly information on online a lot of these people are very f famous Wagner Mozart Puccini Rossini and Handel very very popular uh, operas and Wagner and that's how you pronounce the his name because it's a German name so the W is sounds more like a V that's the guy that did the the Valkyrie song so uh, what was the name of that movie did the the apocalypse now so remember that scene with the helicopters are flying over and he's going dun 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 that's Wagner and that's an opera <laughs> that that uh, uh, he composed. All right, so now we get into the uns this unsavory part of the musical. Back in the back in the day, now you know vaudeville isn't isn't necessarily the the unsavory part, but when you start going into uh, types of vaudeville shows which is one of them is a minstrel show that's when you start getting into that the white actors putting on black makeup and being buffoons and imitating black culture to an exaggerated state so all the all the black characters are slow or stupid or or lazy and they shuffle and all of that stuff so uh, not that's that is part of the musical history and it still it still affects still affects us today you know you still see you still see well, which actually with which is the, the ironic part is you don't necessarily see white people in blackface to in terms of something insulting but you certainly will see black people doing black caricatures of 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 african american life and making fun of it being silly about it you know, doing stereotypes and perpetuating perpetuating that kind of myth uh, it's a little bit a history for you history buffs about showboat very very popular musical And here are some non-African American musicals. Cats has been one of the longest running shows ever. Oh, if you ever get a chance to see the producers, hilarious. That is a funny, funny. I never saw it on on Broadway, but the the movie version is really funny. There's a there's the old movie version, and then there's a new a newer version uh, with with Will Ferrell hilarious all right so again musicals one of the things that's important to note about musicals is that they're very expensive we just finished doing 
the color purple last semester here on campus and that was a forty thousand dollar production and to put that in perspective most of our plays here are done for an eighth of that you know, sometimes two thousand maybe five thousand but uh, it's sometimes even a ten thousand dollar play but certainly not forty thousand dollars and part of the reason why it's so expensive is because you have to you're dealing with more people now so a, a regular play a straight play would just just usually deal with a with with the director but when you're dealing with a musical now you have to hire a director also have to have a hire a musical director the person in charge of the music and then you also hire a choreographer the person in charge of the dancing so those those two extra positions beefs up the expense uh, you have a, a much larger cast a lot more people and and you have the the, the musicians the instrumentalists so full orchestras or a partial orchestra so you're just dealing with a, a, a lot more people which you have to pay and mus musicals tend to be more expensive because they are uh, because they're more popular so even though even though you spend a lot more money on musicals they're still a lot more popular so people will pay more to see it and more people will come to see it so you know for again for so for the color the color purple that we did we sold out practically every show here's something real quick that disnification so again in dealing with the finances of it the disnification of the musical what that base that what that means is that a few years ago Broadway was a messed up place uh, you know, back in the 80s and I remember going to Broadway I was working in in New York and and Broadway was very had a lot of prostitutes and the pimps and and the whores and the and the nudie bars and 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 all of that so it was not it wasn't a very tourist friendly area and then things started to change and one of those changes was when they started taking Disney movies and turning them into Broadway musicals and and again one of the crown jewels of that process was was the Lion King and that process made Broadway much more tourist friendly because people could come to Broadway and see something that they were more familiar with so they could see the almost almost every Disney movies now is, is a musical so Mary Poppins uh, of course the Lion King the Jungle Book uh, Beauty and the Beast those are just a few examples of some of those musicals that are on Broadway now all right so that's about it thanks again guys really enjoyed you I get to meet every now and then run into one of you guys uh, in the theater so come out and check out some of our shows next semester we are going to have a good time and now that you know a little bit more about theater invite your friends and that's about it okay thanks